Hi, this is Rick, and in this section, we're going to be looking at the reports. Now, we're not going to be very getting very extensive into the reportings, uh, into the report section, I'm sorry, until, you know, later videos, or later trainings, or later support. So we're going to show you basically what they are and what they do, um, but very quickly, okay? So in the VCD administration, uh, we're going to go into the reports. Now, mind you that when you set a supervisor to supervise a queue, but you don't want to mess with the system, then we set them for only to view reports, then um, then it would be something like right here. So again, for us to access this portion of the system, the user level has to be 8. So in order for, and to say that this say agent 6000 was going to be our supervisor, so then he would need to have a user level 8, and all his privileges, all they need to add is just to view reports which would allow him to log into the administration section and actually go into the report section. Any other section that he goes into, he will not have access. Okay, so let's click on the reports. And as you can see, we have a whole slew of reports over here. Now, for sakes and purposes here, uh, we're all going we're gonna to do a real quick review on this. Okay, and the big, the main one you guys are going to want to look at is the real-time main report. And that's, you, that's what you see what's going on with your queue at all times. Um, you also got your inbound reports and I, I like to show these to you but I mean there's really hardly any call data in here if anything at all so I mean it's not going to show very much let's see let's try all these and let's see what happens okay so this is an example of an inbound report as you can see our in groups and it tells me that all the test calls that I have made the 6 came in, the 3 came in, the 6 came in on sales, 3 came in on service None of them were answered. They lasted so many seconds. Uh, no human answers. Blah blah. And so it gets pretty extensive. And again, these report. The beauty about VC dollars that it's got very interesting reports. It's got anything you can think of: user time clock, performance, statuses, outbound IVRs, everything. Outbound call reports, the whole nine yards. Uh, the one that we are going to look into right now is the real time main report. Now, what the real time main report does is that. Since I am going to use an administrator that can see all the active campaigns, since I have the outbound and the inbound, um, then this is what it shows us. Uh, it shows us our dial level, uh, which would ever be set for two or three, uh, how many leads we have available that are good. Uh, the hopper, the hopper is basically, I like to think of it like the clip and a gun. You can have, those are going to be ready to roll at any second. Uh, this will tell you. Uh, exactly how many of those are ready to, to go at any second. This will tell you um, how many you want ready. So you can set it to 10, 20, 50, 100, depending on how many agents is how many leads in the hopper you want to have ready for that to be fired off at one time. Um, as you can see here, it gives us the station or the extension, which is 6000, the username, uh, session ID, uh, the status. As you can see, he's paused and login since he's right here. And if we hit resume, you will see that he is in a ready status ready to take calls so um, let's look at the options of this menu now through this report you can also do live monitoring in this case um, you want to do a couple settings the screen refresh rate uh, how fast do you want the screen to refresh you obviously wow two years up to now uh, let's set it for four seconds so it can almost be live and we want to make sure that the inbound shows we want to make sure that if we can monitor now as a supervisor I like to sometimes monitor my calls so I can say monitor or barge now monitor will allow you to drop in on the call with a one click and you'll be able to listen to everything they will know you're there and the barge option will allow you actually to jump into the call what you want to make sure if you, if you choose only monitor only monitor or if you choose if you choose barge then both options will show now, the phone I'm logged in is 6,000, so we will use 6,000 and submit. So now, what happens is that if I wanted to listen to this agent right here, I would just click on listen. And since I am logged in and, and probably won't work properly like that, but that's exactly what would happen. It would tell you success, your phone rings, and you're automatically listening to the agent. Now, also another couple things to see, uh, the how many calls you made today. Now, mind you that in an outbound campaign, the calls today or the calls placed 
includes all the calls that were not answered by a human. So as long as a call was made by the system, it'll count it as a call placed, whether good or bad. Now, the calls dropped and answered is where you're looking at how many were answered versus how many were not answered. So the systems here tells me that it sent two calls that were answered. Well, actually, it sent nine calls total, two were answered, and nine were dropped. Now, since I believe with this, we are looking at a combined, and that's always you have to be careful is combined. So if we look at the test outbound, we see that nothing has been called. But since I was making inbound calls, then we know that in the inbound, it was calls. Now, on the outbound situation, it's different, okay? In the outbound situation, is it'll show you the number of calls that were placed, no matter if they were answered or not, and how many were dropped, how many were answered when they were sent. In the inbound, you don't really get that much difference between the calls and calls today and the calls answered and dropped. Now, the drop percentage is this is remember we set this on the campaigns also. Once this turns red, that means that they're way over the drop percentage, and we want to make sure that they stay below that. If not, in an automatic dialer campaign, the dialer will slow down once again. Uh, it'll tell us what method we're on here in an outbound campaign. If we go to the outbound campaign, you'll see that all the statuses were set. It also shows us the adapt limit, the, the adapt mode that we have it on. And um, it, okay, so this will shows you all all the all the stuff in the in the report right here. Now, let's look at a summary. So if I wanted to look at all my a quick glance at all my campaigns running, then I would hit a summary. And here we go. It tells my inbound and my outbound and shows me what show me what was going on with those you can even set it to show you what type of campaigns you want to see so now we've seen how to use the reports and um, and we'll get more into it in further details on all the other reports